Hey everyone, this is Prashant Chaudhary. I welcome you all to my channel Classic Power App. This is the part two of the data flows for data sync videos. In the last video, we have created a data flow which is pulling the data from the SharePoint using some sort of filter query. That filter query is like it is fetching only those rows which are modified today because the data present into my list was like that you can set that filter query as per your requirement i'll provide you the link in the description of this video if you are watching this video i recommend you to just go and complete the video one then only come to this one okay now consider a case on the sharepoint we have around 10 to 15 items and data flow is daily pulling the data from the sharepoint and pushing it to the dataverse now one day user want to delete some of the data and they have removed some of the data from the sharepoint okay so what the data flow will do data flow will simply fetch the rows present into the sharepoint and paste it to the dataverse based on the foreign key it would update the existing records only but since there is some rows which are deleted on the sharepoint and those rows are already there in the dataverse because of the yesterday's run or maybe the previous run those rows remains in the dataverse for the longer time so now our focus is to remove the unwanted rows we want the data which is present into the sharepoint and the data present into the dataverse should be same so we need to remove the existing rows itself so for that we need to do little configuration to the existing data flow so let me just take you to my screen so here you can see we have a sharepoint and that sharepoint is having around four items okay and the sharepoint and the dataverse if i just show you the outlet remember like we have created this list into the in the last video in this one we have around five items so we can see that here i have let's see is missing from my sharepoint but it is there into my dataverse it means my user want to delete some of the rows and it's our duty it's the data flow duty to remove the unwanted rows from the dataverse as well okay so for that what we do we go to our data flow go to the edit and inside the edit option let it load first just okay so here we have the datas okay please set this trigger condition as per uh, this filter condition as per your requirements okay because i was having the data which uh, i have added today only that's why that's why i have added the condition to give me the records which are modified today okay so maybe the best scenario would be always get the data which was modified yesterday okay if the flow if your data flow is running today in the morning then it should fetch those rows which are modified yesterday okay so update as per your requirements so now just go to the next from this one and on this map tables you can see we have a option at the bottom whose name is delete rows that no longer exist in the query output query output means it's a query which is fetching data from the sharepoint so it says delete the rows that no longer exist means in the query the output that we are getting from the sharepoint if some rows are not present in that output and they, those rows are present into our existing database that we want to delete them so just make the selection to true rest all mapping is remains as the same and then go and publish it once i hit the publish it will again take little time to publish the changes and once it get published we'll do the refresh okay so publish has been done now here you can see that the refresh has been started and it's in progress okay 
so let's see we have around five items into the data verse and in the share point we have four items let it load so it is it is in progress Let me just do the refresh maybe. Okay, still it is in running phase. It should not take more than one or two minutes. Okay, so stay tuned. I want to show you the output. Okay. is it still running let me just come back to this side let me refresh my table okay so it has i have now four so i think it should have done let me refresh maybe okay so here you can see it has completed its job now if i come to my dataverse table i can see only four items and the lessee has been deleted from my table okay because it's not there into my query output which is coming from my sharepoint so that's how we can delete the unwanted rows from the destination which are not they no longer exist on the source side so thanks for watching this video everyone and stay tuned for the third video where we would see how we can get only those rows which are modified not the newly created okay so let's stay tuned and meet in the third videos of this